Hey, what's up, guys, girls, ladies, gentlemen? Um, <laughs> I am sleepy, so everything's funny to me right now. Essentially, this is ending the story of um. Oh, sorry, my dog's barking a lot in the background. Ending the story of the pit bull that followed us home yesterday. Follow me, my poodles, home yesterday. So, um, if you watch that video, pardon me. Hey, guys, come on, come on. Sorry. If you've seen that video, you're aware about the aunt letting the dog out loose and um, <laughs> the, the nephew's dog and how she didn't want him. Well, I really don't trust shelters. So my goal was to find somebody who wanted the dog, which I did, who was going to be coming tonight. But God works in mysterious ways, I guess <laughs> I'll say I, I'll say that. Yeah, God works in mysterious ways. Um, I took my dogs hate this dog and, and for pretty good reason, this dog has been destroying a lot of stuff in the house. So I took my dogs for a walk first, burn off their energy this morning. Um, then took this pit bull for a walk and this pit bull is not trained at all. So it was a, it was a pretty bad time, but he's a cute guy. So while I'm walking, I see this gentleman walking up. Uh, what was it? Thursday, the 20th, Tuesday, the 18th. Remember on the Simpsons, they had that rap episode, the rapper, and he had a big chain that said like Thursday, the 20th or something. I can't remember exactly what it was. If that was a real person, that was this gentleman. So <laughs> he's walking towards me and I see you walking at me, you know, and I'm like, all right, whatever. Just mean the pit bull. And I got my knife on me, but I'm walking by the school with a bunch of kids outside playing and stuff. So I moved to the right. When I move to the right, he moves to the left. So I'm okay. This guy's purposely walking at me and he's looking at me. I'm on the phone with my mom. So dude walks up and he's like, Hey, you got my dog. And he said it like that. So that's not, not the most respectful way to come at somebody. So I'm like, All right, well, let's, let's see what's going to happen. So I tell my mom, Hey, you know, I love you. Bye. And um, I'm like, Oh, so I mean, this is your dog. He's like, Yes, yeah, this is my dog. I'm like, That's good. I'm like, I don't want this dog. But you know, I, I need more than that, you know? So um, he, he he was a really nice guy at this point, you know. I can't say he's a jerk. He probably thought I'd try to steal his dog or something. But um, he showed me a picture of the dog, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that is your dog. But at the same time, I have pictures too, but I'm not trying to question him too much like that. So I'm like, yeah, man, I was walking my dogs yesterday, and this dog literally followed me home, you know. And he's like, oh, man, he's like, you know, I'm like, yeah, so there was a gate that was open. And me and him start talking, and I'm, when I'm talking to him, I realize this is the nephew, and me being me, I say out loud, I'm like, oh, I'm like, you're the nephew. And he kind of looks at me like, huh? And I'm like, oh, oh, nothing. <laughs> I figure I'll let the aunt handle that. But I let him know pretty much like, yes, I saw the gate was open at this address, but I don't remember what the address was. And do quotes the address immediately. And I look up on my phone because I had it saved and that was the address. So mind you, I, I talked to seven neighbors. I left a note in the house. I'm assuming the aunt got rid of the note. And this dude told me like, oh man, all day like, yesterday, we're looking for this dog. I couldn't find him anywhere. Man, this poor guy's looking for his dog, you know, like, um, I'm over the dog's destroying my house. <laughs> and the aunt's just the one in the middle, you know. But um, I, I do have to contact these people because it's supposed to come tonight to pick up this dog. And it's my wife's friends, too. So I, this will be fun. But, um, yeah, while I was talking to this guy, the nephew, and he was thanking me. Me and him were walking to his car. He was a good guy. Like, I even told him, like, hey, you want to hold on to my leash so you can walk your dog back? He's like, oh, no, I'll carry him. I'm like, all right, man. So we walked back to his Mercedes and um, what do you call it? Um, and my just guy looks like he has money. Like his chain looked like the chain from that Simpsons episode. It had like a bunch of words on it. And he's very well dressed gentleman. But um, this lady pulls up at the same race and she's like, oh, hey, we've been looking for him all day yesterday. And I'm looking at her and I'm like, this is probably the aunt. So I'm, I'm smiling and talking friendly to the guy. When I saw that lady, I was like, I couldn't smile at her. Like... <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, it appears that the correct owner did get his dog back. I didn't tell nothing about his aunt. I feel like I probably should have, but that seems like a family issue that kind of fell on me. But I do feel like it's only a matter of time before he goes to work or goes somewhere and his dog gets put out loose again. One thing I did find out, which may have been why the aunt let him loose, uh, this dog is called like um, some of the neighbors saw him and they really liked the dog when I was walking him. And they told me he's called like a blockhead pit. And I guess his coloring is like a blue pit. Well, I mean, you see what he looks like in the first video. But they're telling me his dog's worth like with two fifty without papers, but with papers, he's worth like five hundred bucks. And like, oh, like, like, don't give the dog away. Like, sell the dog. And I'm like, no, I already promised the dog to my wife's, you know, friends. So you know, that's who the dog's going to, which which didn't happen. But they're like, no, no, sell the dog. 
<laughs> but from what I hear, these dogs are known for being bred to fight. And they even told me that's probably why his ears were clipped, you know. But I know it's also a look of pit bulls. But if he if he's bred to fight, I'm sorry he went back home. But, you know, it's, what can I do at this point? But, yeah, that ends the story. Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, get the dog back to Thursday the 20th. He was a good guy, though. I even had a video because I recorded just about everything. You know, um, when he was driving away, I wanted to get his license plate. So I was recording kind of in a sneaky way. And he was like, you know, those friendly honks that dun, 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 dun. one of those. He did one of those at me when he drove. We both waved at each other and he turned the direction where the house was, where the dog was initially let loose at. So anyways, that concludes the story. Dog's back with his owner. Um, hopefully the auntie will not let the dog loose anymore. But if she does, I, I know the guy now. So <laughs> Anyways, man, it's a, that's a funny story. Um, I've been very sick, so it kind of gave me some energy. So I know I'm not the best orator out there, but I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. And thanks for listening to me talk. Peace.